he's definitely having problems, Matt. I don't know, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and see, this is the problem with people with uh, brain injuries. People don't understand them. Somebody will come out and think that this uh, guy has, uh, you know, he's been drinking. Uh, we're on we're, drugs. We're on drugs, right? Um, so, or that, that he's having some but kind. That's the exact pose that he did in front of me uh-huh. as I was coming down the street. He didn't. He didn't have his back into me. He right, had his right, front right. into me. You know, or they would think that maybe he was, um, uh, they might think that he, you know, has some kind of mental illness or something. But uh, this is uh, what goes on with people that have brain injuries. It's just uh, very misunderstood. So um, uh, we can only hope that we can get him to help today. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I doubled back. Well, he, he was doing pretty good the other day. He said he had his brain injury back in 97 at work. So uh, mm. that's as much as I know about this gentleman. I tried to make friends with him the other day. But he said he was a very private person and um, uh, didn't want to like do any interviews or talk to me. Um, uh, you know, I told him where he could reach me uh, at the Historical Society. But um, uh, now we run into each other again today um, out on the street. So um. he uh, definitely needs a little bit of help. Yeah, well, with a person with a brain injury, from my experience, unfortunately, first-hand uh, experiences, uh, you just a lot of times you just don't know what you're doing. Uh, this gentleman could have no recollection whatsoever of what's going on here. I would black out, and you know, just totally not even know what was going on, and I would wind up starting coming out of it and realized I went into something where I didn't know what I did for I don't know how long. So, uh, you know, this is just a, uh, you know, so uh, he just more than likely has no clue. Well, the police have showed up and uh, talked with them. They know this gentleman and um, had some dealings with him in the past. But I uh, told them uh, about brain injuries and, and uh, just how difficult someone's situation uh, is when, they're, when they have a brain injury and just um, they're gonna send out, they're trying to get a crisis uh, team coming out right now to help out and assess the situation. So. Um, uh, just couldn't appreciate their help anymore and um, the, our emergency service response uh, people are doing a wonderful job once again in Dundalk.